Welcome back, fight fans, to another video here on The Fight Game. The heavyweight division is absolutely booming in boxing today, but we've yet to have a question answered. Who will become the undisputed heavyweight champion? Five months ago, we uploaded a video looking at who is the best heavyweight boxer today. At the time, Andy Ruiz and Deontay Wilder were the heavyweight champions. But, as many of you already know, that is not the current case. In December of last year, Anthony Joshua took back his three major world title belts when he put on a boxing clinic against Andy Ruiz Jr. Joshua showed that he can box on the back foot as he proves to be versatile. He made no excuses after his loss, acted like a champion, and became a champion again. He's only ever acted like a gentleman in his career, and he's got my respect for that. He's the king. No, you are the king. You are. They wrote you off. They wrote you off. They said you were hype, you come back, you schooled him, and you're the king again. With Joshua winning, a lot of people thought the plans were back in place to set up a mega fight with Deontay Wilder to become undisputed champion. But boxing had other plans. Wilder Fury 2 happened on February 22nd, and Fury battered Wilder from pillar to post. He became the lineal WBC and Ring World Heavyweight Champion. You could almost say the king is back, because the three major world titles that Joshua has are actually Furies. Fury had them stripped when he went on that break, so technically, Fury has already held every world title in boxing. He just didn't hold them simultaneously, which is what Undisputed requires. So no doubt we've still got the three major players, Joshua, Wilder, and Fury. However, there are others in the division who pose a legitimate threat as well. Boxers like Dillian White and Alexander Usyk are looking for a title shot. Upcoming prospects such as Joe Joyce and Daniel Dubois are set to collide. Ruiz and Ortiz can still compete in major events. That's without mentioning the lesser known contenders. The division is looking great. Many great fights are set to take place, and all we have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the coming years of the revival of boxing's most storied division. You've got skills, explosiveness, finesse, power, elusiveness, pretty much everything you could ask for in the sport of boxing. With so many contrasting aspects and so many different fighters, you've got to ask who is the best. Welcome to this video here on The Fight Game, where we take a look at the landscape of the heavyweight division. So for those of you that don't know, Undisputed means a champion holds all four of the major world title belts simultaneously. The four major belts are the WBC, IBF, WBA, and WBO. Anthony Joshua has three belts, the IBF, WBA, and WBO. He collected the IBF belts by beating Charles Martin in 2016. The left, got it! He collected the WBA belt when he defeated Vladimir Klitschko in 2017. And then he collected the WBO belt when he defeated Joseph Parker in 2018. However, it's worth mentioning that Joshua also holds the IBO belt. However, that's not commonly referred to as a major world title. Joshua lost all his belts to Andy Ruiz in June 2019 in a massive upset, but then won them back in December of the same year. Tyson Fury has one belt, the WBC. The WBC belt is often referred to as the most prestigious belt of them all. He won this belt when he defeated Deontay Wilder in their rematch on February 22nd of this year. Fury also holds the lineal title and ring magazine belt. When the three of Joshua's belts are put on the line with Fury's belt, we have a unification fight for the undisputed champion. But by the time we see an undisputed champion, we have to ask the question, will it even be one of the fighters holding it today? It may be a long while before we find out, because Fury and Wilder will have a trilogy fight next. That fight is expected to take place later this year. Wilder says he will exercise the rematch clause, which contractually binds Fury to a third fight. I think it's hard to pick Wilder to win in a third fight when you look at the second. 
but Joshua avenged his loss, so can Wilder. But Andy Ruiz is no Tyson Fury. A third fight is still dangerous for Fury though, Wilder still only needs to land one perfect punch, but considering the greatness that Fury is currently radiating, Wilder may never find it. The road to Undisputed is still a long one, but it's important to enjoy the great fights we're going to get along the way. In the meantime, Anthony Joshua will take on Kubrat Pulev in a mandatory fight in June. Pulev is a good boxer, he's only got one loss and he's on an 8 fight win streak. I expect Joshua to win, but if we learned anything from Joshua's upset last June, it's that the overlooked foe is often the most dangerous. That night when Joshua beat Ruiz, we also saw the return of Dillian White, who won by decision. It probably wasn't the best performance from White because he didn't look in peak condition like he did in recent fights. Primarily because he took the fight on a three weeks notice. I look forward to watching his next fight in which I don't doubt we'll see the better version of White. That fight comes against Alexander Povetkin on May 2nd. This is an absolutely incredible fight. Sure, Povetkin is old, but he's still got power. White and Povetkin have monster left hooks, so seeing both those punches come against each other is exciting to think about. White hasn't had much luck go his way in recent years. He's been climbing the WBC ranks for quite some time now, but has remained unsuccessful in finalizing a deal for a fight. White lost to Joshua in 2015, but has remained unbeaten in his last 11 fights. A lot of improvements can be made in the time frame of 5 years, and as White never got a title shot, I'd really like to see White get his chance sometime soon. He's truly a top contender for the championship belt. With massive power and an underrated jab, he poses a risk to any of the top players in the heavyweight division right now. We also have to talk about Alexander Usyk, whose next fight is expected to be against Derek Chisora. Usyk made his heavyweight debut last year when he took on Chaz Witherspoon. He won quite easily by technical knockout, he showed many great skills, and gave us great insight into how we could see his skills unfold at this heavier weight. As Usyk is moving up from cruiserweight, it may take him some time to adjust to the heavyweight division. The Shizora fight is definitely a dangerous one, as Shizora is extremely experienced, holds dangerous power, and is very seasoned when it comes to the weight of 200 plus pounds. However, maybe the person who becomes undisputed won't even be one of those guys. Daniel Dubois is looking like a very promising heavyweight prospect. He's only 22 years old and has knocked out 13 of his only 14 opponents. His next big test will be in April against Joe Joyce, another undefeated prospect climbing the ranks. Joyce was a successful amateur too. I love these undefeated prospect fights, you're not really sure who's going to win because both are inexperienced. Two of Dubois' last three opponents were undefeated too, which is quite impressive. Dubois has clearly got massive power, and Joyce will be a tough test for him. I'm looking forward to this fight. So as you can see, the heavyweight division is yet to unravel. Who do you think will become undisputed champion? I think Fury looks great right now, but Joshua has proven to be a great champion thus far and may have the tools to beat Fury. Fundamentally, Joshua is a better boxer than Wilder, power-wise maybe not so much. But boxing likes to surprise us from time to time. Wilder definitely shouldn't be written off just yet. Maybe he will make major adjustments and beat Fury in a third fight. I'll be watching the third fight for the factor of we never really know what's going to happen. But as of right now, Fury vs. Joshua seems to be the mega fight. If Fury beats Wilder again later this year, and Joshua beats Pulev, Fury vs. Joshua is almost inevitable. Joshua can box and punch, Fury can box and punch, but predicting which style each fighter will bring to the ring against one another is purely speculation. Joshua has knocked down all his opponents bar one. Joshua's power isn't speculation, it's true. Fury is undefeated. His skills aren't speculation, they're true. So once again the question comes, who will become the undisputed heavyweight champion? Will it be Joshua, who's proven he's got the manner of a champion, or Fury, who's proven once again to defy all odds? Maybe Wilder, who may return stronger than ever. Or maybe others like White and Usyk. Let us know in the comments section below who your pick is. 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a like as it helps us grow the channel. We'll see you in the next video here on The Fight Game.